Last week, the Alabama Gulf Coast Recovery Council recommended funding more than 40 projects to the tune of more than $300 million. Pritchard City leaders had hoped money for drainage and sewer infrastructure improvements on West Turner Road and Lovejoy Loop would be a project included, but it wasn't. Pritchard spokesperson Melanie Baldwin runs the city's Twitter account. She posted multiple tweets on the city feeling left out on their share of the money, saying in one tweet, there was a slight disparity in the allocation of the funds with heaviness towards Baldwin and Mobile counties. Another one says, one thing that wasn't discussed is that since they are repairing some of the municipalities around Pritchard, when the water runs through the city, it will cause more issues. Over the phone, Baldwin told me she wants to encourage Pritchard residents to make their voice heard by joining in on the discussion during a 45-day public comment period. We've got to review the comments, uh, so probably about in the vicinity of five to six months before we'll start seeing any, any, any funds flow. Baldwin tells us the mayor plans to speak out on not receiving funds in the next coming weeks. And you can find more information on when that comment period will start by heading to foxntv.com. Meanwhile, the Alabama Gulf Coast Recovery Council has approved restore money for 20 projects for Baldwin County. It totals more than $130 million. Fairhope was approved for four projects totaling nearly $18 million. Orange Beach came in at $10.5 million. Gulf Shores was approved for two projects at nearly $16 million. And Baldwin County will receive $86 million for its eight projects. The county projects are largely for widening roads like what we're already seeing on Highway 31 over in Spanish Fort. Other areas will also get some help. Lillian, Fort Morgan, and Mayor State Park are already getting funding for various shoreline enhancement and beautification projects. And in Mobile, the Recovery Council awarded the city $39 million for projects addressing waterways, roads, and communities. The money will go towards designing and reconstructing roads and utilities along the Beauregard Broad MLK Avenue corridor. Also included more than $3.5 million to establish a new welcome center along with a tourism program in Africatown. Plus, almost $6 million will be used to redesign and rebuild infrastructure on St. Louis Street as part of Mobile's technology corridor.